It is Adriana Marias, and we are just a few days away now from the much-anticipated trilogy match with Demetrius Johnson. So, Adriana, I just ask, give us the feel right now, the excitement level. I mean, this is a this is a big fight. How are you right now? Yeah, I'm good. I'm great. Nice to meet you, John. Uh, I'm just here in the high city, getting ready for this fighting up, uh, this fight that's upcoming. And I'm sure ready, man. I feel really prepared. I think I did the homework and ready to go i love it man now the first fight between you two guys was two years ago of course you've split gone one and one um how do you change things this time around i mean do you approach the fight any differently in terms of strategy or mindset i mean you've had success so is it just about execution or do you have to change your approach yes of course i always when you have a loss you need to come back to the lab and uh, fix some some mistakes that we have in the fight. Um, I don't change too much, you know, because I take my game plan against Dimitri Jones was working really well since in the second fight also. Um, and I just come come with the mistakes, like fix it, uh, more condition, and uh, more ready. I love it, man. And as for the fight, I mean, are you – more excited for this than you might be a normal fight or is there any part of you that's just like i'm so tired of thinking about demetrius johnson like i don't even want to fight this guy anymore i'd rather fight somebody else <laughs> yes of course like it's not like i'm tired to think about it you, you know because this is my job yeah i need to fight to provide my family i i don't i, I don't care who gonna who gonna i will be fighting um I'm happy to be healthy and do what I like to do, you know, and be a, be fighting against somebody. <laughs> In the end of the day, it's always good to go into fight. So, but it's good to have the the last one against Dimitri Johnson, so you can close the book and looking forward for another chapter in our life. Absolutely. You know, Adrian, he's kind of hinting that he may be closing the book on his professional career. He might retire potentially after this fight. Do you have any thoughts when you when you hear him say that? Does it make you wonder like, hey, where's his mindset at? Maybe he's already thinking about, you know, beyond fighting. Yeah, I think he I think he's tired to be a fighting, you know, I don't know. I think he's achieved a lot of goals of his dreams. Uh, I think he did already everything that he wanted to, to, to make, you know. He has the numbers. Uh, he fought in two, in two big promotions, and he made history in those big two promotions. Uh, I don't go judge him, you know, because I think uh, if he retired, I think he's going to deserve this retirement, the best one ever. Uh, but I wish he had retired without the one championship belt <laughs> i like it i like it now look uh we know what a big event this is for one championship right i mean this is a big fight but the event as a whole the first time in the united states very big but how about for you personally getting to compete in the united states is this a big moment for you as well because i feel like maybe a, a lot of people haven't had a chance to watch your career up close and maybe don't give you the respect that you deserve. So maybe competing in the United States might be a chance to to change that. Are you are you excited about that opportunity? Man, I'm excited because it's gonna be my US debut also. You know what I'm saying? Like yes, here in the United States, I just fought like some jiu-jitsu tournaments. I never fought MMA. Uh, I've been fighting Asia for a long 10 years. So I became a champion in Brazil, became a champion in Asia. So now I have opportunity to maybe become a champion here in the United States, you know, this is going to be a flowers to my legacy, my career, you know, and I can't wait. I'm really excited. Yeah, I love it. It's incredible to think at this point in your career, you haven't competed in the United States. I mean, you're training in the United States, and, but you've never had a chance to fight here. That's pretty wild, isn't it? Yeah, it's crazy, you know, because I've been training at the American Top Team, like, I think seven years around seven years, and uh, I was fighting Asia, you know, I was, uh, I think I fought in, in every Asia capitals, you know, and uh, right now I have this opportunity, it's big opportunity to be here in the United States, and uh, make this big man event, man, for me, it's uh, just, I'm feeling blessed, 
and honor. I love it. Uh, obviously, of course, Denver does have the elevation, so that's a little bit of a unique challenge. What was your approach to, you know, combating the altitude that you have to deal with in Denver? Uh, yes. Uh, everybody say about the altitude this is real. You know, altitude is the real deal that we need to know how to deal with. So I came here early for this fight. I'm here already, you know, I already training, uh, training here in Denver, feeling this uh, elevation, uh, feeling the energy of the city. So I will be really prepared. My condition is good. And uh, I'm going to do good in this fight and become the new champion. And you said, you know, it's it's your job. You'll face whoever. But, I mean, this would be not only a championship win, but holding a trilogy victory over a legend like Demetrius Johnson would be pretty spectacular. So, personally, what would it mean for you to accomplish that? Yes, of course, it meant, man. Uh, first of all, I've never imagined I would be fighting Demetrius Johnson one day. So, for now, I'm going to adjust uh, a few days to make our 30 dance. Man, this is like unbelievable and uh brother i just want to win this fight make my my career good again and uh making my family proud my family happy and my teammates getting crazy with this big win i love it man well it's certainly a big fight we're looking forward to it have you let yourself think about beyond this fight what comes next i mean one championship is doing so many great things they got submission grappling they got people switching over to kickboxing they're doing shows in the united states i mean have you thought about what the future holds past that yeah man they want to be cheap right now doing really big things i'm excited for the promotion too you know because i've been watching them work really closely man and they work really hard to make all of this happen so i'm happy for them also and uh, for now i can focus just on this trilogy you know, I really want to win this fight. And for the future, I'm going to live in the God hands, whatever, whatever uh, he has like prepared for me. I'm going to, I'm going to take it, you know, and uh, let's see what, what the future has to us. I love it. Well, you've been a big part of this promotion for a long time now. So I think you get to enjoy this moment in the United <laughs> States crowd as much as they do. It's May 5th. One Fight Night 10, Denver, Colorado. It's on Amazon Prime Video if you can't get in the building. Adriano, best of luck in the matchup, and uh, we're certainly looking forward to it. I'll be there on Fight Week, so uh, I look forward to seeing you in Denver very soon. Oh, nice to meet you, John. Thank you very much for your kind of energy for this interview. And uh, I really am excited, guys. Tune in on Prime Video, May 5th. Uh, Moraes S. Johnson, the trilogy of the era. I can't wait. I'm very excited to put in a show for everybody, and let's go.